boys and girls. Welcome. This is fifth grade rhythm writing. Now, fifth graders, you actually know all of these rhythms that are behind me. So looking first in our one heartbeat rhythm chart, we have ta, tt, rest, ticka ticka, ti ticka, ticka ti, tinka, and katim. Over here in the two heartbeat column, we have two, half rest, ti ta ti, tom ti, and ti tom. Your half heartbeat rhythms are over here. We're not going to worry about those today. So, you're going to compose 16 beats of rhythm. So, if you have a paper and a pencil or a crayon or whatever you want to write with at home, start by writing four hearts on the top of your page. And then I made one, two, three, four spaces. So it's essentially going to be four measures with four counts each. So you can write any combination of these rhythms that you want. But if I start with something in the two heartbeat column, then I need to make sure I give it two heartbeats on the board. So I'm going to start with a half note, two, and that's going to last through both these beats. So then my next one will go right here. And I think I feel like putting another two heartbeat rhythm there. I'm going to put T-Tom. Now remember, you only need the note head if it affects the rhythm here. So for a half note, you need to write that open circle. For T-Tom, they do not need note heads. We only need the stick notation to tell us the rhythm. So the next line, I think I'm going to start with a Timka. Remember, that's our newest rhythm that we've learned. It's a dotted eighth note and a sixteenth note. So that second beam, that little flag, doesn't connect to anything when it's a single sixteenth note. So this is Timka. And I like it so much I'm going to write a second one. And I think I'm going to put a ta and a tt. Going to my next line, I am going to switch it around, do the opposite of a timka, and write katim. Now, for this one, the flag goes on the first one, so I know this is the 16th note, and then this dot goes on the outside because it always goes after the note. A lot of times we want to write it on the inside here, but it doesn't go on the inside. It goes to the right of the note, just like it does up there. So this is katim. And let's just go ahead and write two katims. And let's give us a two. And that's going to take up those last two beats of that measure. And let's see, we haven't really done any ticka tees or tea tickas up here. So let's Get some of those in there. Now, I'm writing three sticks, and depending on where I put my second flag like that, it'll determine if it's ticka T or T ticka. I think I feel like T ticka, so I'll put it like that. And then let's flip flop it, and we'll write ticka T. And will end easy with a T T ta. So, 16 beats, you're going to need to practice it a few times and then go perform it for someone else in your home. Mine sounds like this. Two, T tom, Tim, ka Tim, ka ta, T T, ka Tim, ka Tim, two, T, ticka ticka T, T T ta. Okay. Now it's your turn. I hope you have a great time writing your rhythms and practice makes perfect. So practice it a few times, then go perform it for somebody else. See if they can perform it back for you. That's all we have for today. Goodbye, boys and girls. See you next time.